Hello everyone, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and I'm back today with another fun use for memory wire. We're going to be making this cuff style bracelet today that I was inspired to come up with based on the contents of the Paradise Aquatic Beading Collection from Eureka Crystal Beads. I will of course leave a link to that as well as all the materials I will be using today in case you don't want to pick up that entire collection, you can pick and choose what you need. And of course in any type of color palette that you'd like. As you can see, we'll be using some round six millimeter beads. These are Czech glass drucks, as well as about a six inch length of three millimeter rhinestone cup chain. Beyond that, I'll be using some of this 22 gauge twisted craft wire from BB Craft. However, if you don't have the twisted wire, you can definitely just use plain wire. I would recommend a 22 or a 24 gauge for that. You'll need about one and a half or a little less loops of memory wire, as well as your wire cutters, your various types of pliers, specifically a chain nose and a round nose would be great. So once you have gathered all your materials, we can jump into this flexible and unique cuff bracelet tutorial. All right, everybody, we're gonna actually start in the center of this bracelet and start by tacking down our cup chain and then we'll get into more of the decorative part of the design. The first thing you wanna do is take a segment of your wire as well as your memory wire bracelet segment and just match up these two ends because what you wanna do is start out by stringing a druck bead onto both of those simultaneously. And you wanna pull that bead so that it is sitting sort of we'll say two inches from the left side of your bracelet. Leave a little bit of that length of wire on the left hand side that you can finish off that side with. I've got probably about three inches over there and then have the rest of the length kind of hanging out on the right hand side. So now we're gonna start tacking down our rhinestone cup chain. I'm taking this chain and placing it right next to our druck bead and right over top of those two pieces of wire. And like I said, at this point, we're just tacking this down. We'll be going back and doing a little bit more to make this look decorative after this step. So I'm taking the length of my 22 gauge twisted wire and I'm wrapping it underneath the memory wire. And then I'm going to go over top of the bar portion of the cup chain, as you can see there just in between the first and second rhinestone. So I've got that tacked down once, I'm gonna bring my wire back underneath again and go over top of that one more time. So you should have something like that, your rhinestone cup chain just hanging down, it's loose, it's sitting next to your first bead and it will get easier as you go once we have more of this tacked down. So now, take the end of this length of wire again match it up with the end of your memory wire and now you're ready to add another bead so add another bead onto two pieces simultaneously and bring that down to your cup chain since you have more wire to work with than the memory wire, you'll just be gently pulling your wire, making sure you're not getting it crimped or kinked while you're pulling it through. And that's another reason why I like working with the twisted wire for this project is because it seems to have a bit more flexibility and room for error where it doesn't kink up as badly if you're not careful. So here is my other bead sitting now next to the other side of the rhinestone cup chain. I've got my length of wire here on this side. And what we wanna do is wrap the cup chain around this next bead and drape it down the other side. So it's gonna end up sitting just like that. And I wanna bring this wire around this segment of the cup chain that is in between the fifth and sixth rhinestone so try to keep that cup chain kind of snugly against that bead as best you can and once again just bringing that extra piece of wire underneath and wrapping it around twice 
around the cup chain and around the memory wire so that the rhinestone cup chain just starts to be held in place where we want it curving around the bead. Now that we've done that, we can pretty much repeat what we just did. You can match up the two ends of your wire again and add on another bead, pulling that excess wire, first of all, carefully, and then sliding that bead down to meet that segment of cup chain. And just pushing these together, I want everything to be sitting snugly so there's no big gaps in this section. And just like we did before, we're gonna wrap this piece of cup chain around just going the other way this time. And just like we did before, we're gonna be wrapping the cup chain to the memory wire two times by going around that section right in there and making sure we are keeping these loops of rhinestones symmetrical. So I have like four rhinestones sitting outside of each bead. And that's what we'll continue to do. All right, guys, so repeat that step until you have gotten to the end of your cup chain. Should be about seven beads that you've wrapped around. I'm gonna speed this up while I continue and then we'll move on with the next steps. All right, so our cup chain is all attached to the memory wire and wrapped around our beads. And you can see if you have some extra on one end, you just snip that off with your flush cutters. So I'm just gonna snip off the extra two segments. And then with the length of wire that I still have hanging over on this right-hand side, I am going to make three loops around the memory wire just to secure that piece of wire that we were working with, and I still have some extra, but that's okay. You also want to make sure that this portion is pretty central in your bracelet. So you wanna have about even lengths of memory wire on the left and the right side hanging out because you're gonna be stringing more beads onto each side, and you don't wanna have one side that is way too short and one that is way too long. All right, now on this side, we can actually take this druck bead off. That was more of a placeholder for the purpose of holding our cup chain in place a little bit better as we were wrapping. But now you can take that extra length of wire that's on the other side and just give that a good three wraps onto the memory wire to keep that in place and then snip that off. All right guys, so you should have something that looks similar to this. And now what we're gonna do is string on the beads onto one side of our memory wire. So I'm going to be adding seven more beads on each side to get the length that I would like. And I usually like about a seven inch bracelet. And that will leave a little bit of a gap once we finish this cuff but that's gonna be fine because with the memory wire, it's going to hold its shape and it will stay in place without needing a clasp or anything like that. So I've strung on seven more beads onto this side. And now what we wanna do is trim off our memory wire, leaving ourselves about a quarter of an inch in order to loop that back and secure the bracelet. So if you have a pair of memory wire cutters, that's great. Otherwise, try to use maybe an older pair of wire cutters because this will ruin your nice wire cutters if you are using these to cut your memory wire. So just trim that off, leaving just a little bit of excess there that you can then take your round nose pliers and create a little loop that's gonna hold the beads in place so they're not gonna go sliding off. And also we're gonna be attaching our decorative wire to that. 
And I didn't make this super tight. You can see I do have a little bit of room, just a little bit of play, and that's to allow us to be able to wrap some more wire in between these beads without it being way too tight. So let's repeat on the other side, adding seven more beads or however many you would like. There we go, we have our symmetrical sides. And once again, I'm gonna go in with the memory wire cutters and trim that off right about there. Might actually be leaving more like a half an inch. And then take your round nose once again, just like you did before, and loop the end of the memory wire back on itself a little bit so that you have a loop that will secure those beads. Once again, I have a little bit of play on either side. All right, so I've clipped a segment of wire and we're ready to finish this up with a little bit more detail to put this all together. So leaving most of your wire to one side, just reserving like say a quarter of it, we're gonna start where we get to the first side of our cup chain and just take that shorter end of wire and wrap it right next to the cup chain as neatly as you can several times. So it'll be right over the existing wire where you had finished that off before pretty much and it's just gonna thicken up that area. And then take that short segment and you can go underneath the first bead that you get to and wrap it around the memory wire in between the first and second bead. Then I kind of push that bead up so that things are staying tight and we have that tiny bit of room over here. And then take your wire and do the same thing with the next bead, kind of wrap the next two and slide them up a little bit. Then take your wire underneath, wrap around and in between the next two and so on until you get to the very bottom. just like that. We can straighten these wires up later. You can see you have about an inch left probably. And there you can just wrap this end of wire right around the loop. If you wanna go through the loop, you can do that. Tuck that in a little bit and secure whatever small segment you have left. So you'll end up with something like this. And then you can just take your fingers and move the wire so that these wires are all kind of around the same side of the bead if that matters to you and kind of match them up and make sure that your wire is nicely tucked in at the end so it's not going to snag your clothes or your skin. So we have one side that's all good to go and then of course we have our longer piece of wire ready to wrap and finish off our other side. What I'm going to do is swing this wire underneath again, underneath our cuff. And I think I'm gonna start out by going over the first rhinestone and also over the second and going in between the second and the third, tucking my wire underneath and try to keep your cup chain facing up while you're doing this so that it stays in place and is not hanging off to the side. Now I'm gonna go between the third and the fourth rhinestone and tuck my wire underneath again coming back around in between the first and the second bringing that up and over in between rhinestones four and five swinging back underneath and then tightly weaving around the section between rhinestones five and six going underneath that holding this nice and tight and then I'm just gonna kind of repeat that same type of process. So I'm going over the top of this section between five and six again, wrapping my wire over these next two, then going back underneath this next round bead, wrapping my wire over and in between the next two rhinestones, coming back underneath next to the round, and then wrapping tightly in between the next two and underneath that. And then what I like to do is just kind of tuck these wires in toward the rhinestone. I just like the wrapped look that that gives around the beads, but that's optional. And then just kind of repeat the same 
process, taking that wire and just wrapping it in between the rhinestones as you go. And just like we did before, when you get to that other side, you're just going to wrap your wire around several times next to the other side of the cup chain and do just like we did before, going underneath and wrapping in between. And then you'll just finish up by giving the end loop a couple wraps and also going through the end loop and wrapping around it for a bit of extra added security. And then you'll clip off your excess and tuck in the end of that wire. So there you have it guys. That is how I created this particular beaded memory wire cuff. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Maybe it spurs some ideas inside of you as a jumping off point. I'd love to see this done in some other colors, of course. And as you can see, there's really no need for a clasp because the memory wire does hold this on the wrist pretty well in place. You could even make it a little bit longer if you'd like to, and you can even add jump rings and a clasp onto this if you chose to do that. But for my purposes, I feel like it's pretty sturdy and I love the flexibility of this. So like I mentioned, I will leave the links and full materials list right down below the video. So you can check those out and make one of these for yourself if you haven't done so yet. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love for you to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And definitely subscribe while you're there. I'd love to have you back for future videos like this one and lots of other beading fun. I also have my social media handles listed below because it'd be great if you'd follow me along there as well. And you can check out my website and blog at orchidandopal.com. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. I always love to hear from you. And until next time, I hope you guys are trying your best to stay safe, healthy, and creative. And as always, happy beading. Mm -hmm.